I never meant to cause you any sorrow. Mm. I never meant to cause you any pain. Mm. I only wanted one time to see you laughing. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Mm. Purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. I never wanted to be a wicked lover. I only wanted to be some kind of friend. Hey. Baby, I can never steal you from another. Mm. If such a shame our friendship had to win, purple rain, purple rain. Mm. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you underneath the purple rain. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Yes, y'all, yes. Y'all, today is the birthday of a prince, Prince Rogers Nelson, that is. He was born June 7, 1958. Today would have been his 64th birthday. And you might be getting this video like a day or two late, but I'm celebrating Prince all week, y'all. I've been outside taking pictures in my neighborhood with my whole Prince look on. I'm celebrating Prince today, y'all. Happy birthday to Prince. Uh, rest in peace to Prince. But his legacy will ever, forever live on, guys. And how did y'all like that song coming in from the amazing tag for short, y'all? She is so good on those vocals. And I have to tell y'all a secret about Purple Rain for me. When I hear it, y'all... I get so emotional. That song is just an emotional song for me. I don't know what it is, but when a surround sound is on and the voice is just amazing, I just get so emotional on that song. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about Prince. It's all about Prince today. But first and foremost, I do want to thank my two amazing fellow YouTubers who, without hesitation, got me some vocals over so you saw tag for short on the intro and um i got a special outro from an amazing vocal just as well um they both did an excellent job and i just want to say thank you to both of them that's what the power of youtube is guys we need to collaborate and just have a good time with one another and i know that both of them can sing very well so they both lended me some amazing vocals to help me with my vision on this video. Um, but yes, y'all, let's get to the food. Today, I am eating rock and roll sushi, guys. Um, rock and roll sushi, they are popping up all over the U.S. We got a couple here in my city and state. And uh, my husband and I go to rock and roll sushi all the time. And this was just um, a great connection because I know the one rock and roll sushi that we go to all the time um, I'm gonna show y'all some footage of it but they got a big Prince poster in there and I always sit by it I just love it and so today I went to pick up a to-go order and got some footage of the Prince poster so 
um, they that restaurant is all about um, paying homage to amazing rock and roll legends and Prince was certainly a rock and roll legend so if you ever get a chance to visit a rock and roll sushi I just recommend you to do it because I'm gonna show you some uh, footage some close-up of what I got here so I'm not sure what each roll is because I forgot what rolls I did get but I will try to insert them here in this video one of our favorites is this baked roll over here um, and it's just all of them are good but um, we are gonna start diving into these rolls I'm drinking me a purple drink over here a uh, little nice little cocktail to celebrate birthday Prince's birthday so, I'm going to get into this. I think this is some type of little spicy sauce here. Not sure, but I'll have that on the side for some dipping sauce. So, y'all tell me. I want to know y'all's favorite uh, Prince. I want to know y'all's favorite Prince tune. Your favorite song or your favorite album. But I'm going to tell y'all my favorite song and my favorite album the more we talk through this. But yes, sushi. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mmm. I like to put a little bit of soy sauce on the plate. And then mix my wasabi in with the soy sauce because the wasabi by itself is very hot and um i will say that i've been wanting to do some sushi on this channel before so it just really worked out uh for me to go to this place today and i also want to give a shout out to uh afro mix family i saw them eat some sushi recently and I told them that I was going to do a sushi video, and it just so happened to work out that it happened today with rock and roll sushi. Uh, Prince was a vegetarian. He didn't eat a whole lot, so I figured I'd eat kind of light today in this video and talking about Prince. Now, this looks like it has some avocado on it. It looks like really healthy and good, so let's see what this one is talking about. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's just a mango on the top. That is so tasty. Mm. I know this one here is the California roll. You can't go wrong with a California roll. Mm -hmm. Where we at? Dip it right here. California roll is as basic as it can get in sushi. Do y'all like sushi out there? Mmm. 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 That was a big piece of wasabi right there. But California roll doesn't have any raw sushi in there. In fact, none of this sushi is raw. Uh, most of it has shrimp in it and uh, crab meat. This here is the fave. And I'm going to put the names down below so you guys can see. But y'all let me know if a rock and roll sushi is in your area. We got the baked sushi. Well, I think it's regular sushi with like some baked crab meat and cheese on top. But look at that, y'all. Okay. I don't want to drop anything. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Avocado. It's good. So good. So, y'all see I had to bring the vibes today in the Prince outfit, guys. I got a wig on. I was going to try to curl my regular hair, my, my own hair, but it didn't work out in that way. Threw on some purple and um, got the purple earrings. Y'all keep listening to this video because there's a chance for you to win some purple earrings guitar earrings custom made you can possibly win them so stay tuned in this video 
and I'll tell y'all the rules to win your pair. I'm only giving away one pair, but you can win a pair if you just keep listening in. If you're a Prince fan like me, drop some purple hearts down there and let me know, y'all. And by the purple heart, tell me what your favorite uh, Prince album or song is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes good. Mm. So, Prince wrote his first song at the age of seven. It was called Funk Machine. His mom and dad were both um, jazz musicians, so naturally he became um, interested in music. He played sports in high school, but he really just always was in love with music. He got signed to Warner Brothers at the age of 17, and he went on to make a lot of albums, and it wasn't until um, 1982 when he wrote his break at well he had several albums before 1982 and a lot of them hit the billboard chart charts but in 1982 his breakout album 1999 that album uh went on to be one of his breakthrough well his main breakthrough album and it's still uh popular today especially the hit record 1999 um absolutely great album I liked it, but I can't say that it's my favorite. Mm. But there are so many to choose from. I mean, he was full of self-expression. I mean, the only man that was could rock some heels and look amazing in them. So... That's what I love about Prince. I just, oh my gosh, everything purple, y'all. Well, purple is not my favorite color, but I love purple because it does remind me of Prince, and that color has become synonymous with him. So, in 1984, that was the year that he, that Purple Rain came out. And did you know that Purple Rain was originally going to be called Dreams? And the song Purple Rain was originally going to be a country song. And Stevie Nicks was asked to write the lyrics to Purple Rain. And she chickened out. She told Prince that she was scared to write the song. So Prince took the song back to the lab and to his band. And um, they came up with Purple Rain. And as you can see... Uh, the movie was loosely based on his life and um, his band members were featured in the movie. The movie was great. I really enjoyed that, that entire movie. Um, but just realizing that it was um, loosely based on his life, you got to kind of really see the inside. I'm always curious about... Um, musicians and how they got their start and um seeing prince in purple rain it just was a classic movie um y'all let me know your favorite scenes from down in purple rain my favorite scenes were always when they were um on stage it was just awesome um you know he had the famous darling nikki oh my gosh do y'all know what that song is about that's not the quiz question, but um, I do got a quiz question. So Vanity Six, it was three girls in that band. It was a girl band, three women. Why did he name them Vanity Six? I mean, so the first person to answer down in the comments, the first person that has an Instagram page and um, has the ability to DM me their address on Instagram, I will get the person who custom made me these earrings to send you a pair. So um, if you don't have Instagram and you answer, I'm going to have to go on to the next person. 
um, this will last for 12 hours after I post this video. So after the time says that this video was posted, 12 hours later, I'm going to go back in the comments, but I'll be watching the comments the whole time to see who posted the answer first. Um, but I just, I'm curious. Do y'all know why he called, excuse me, why they were named Vanity Six? Um, you can win these earrings, win some just like it. Um, but I just enjoyed that whole movie. Uh, he was the kid and, um, Morris Day and the time and I mean, Jerome and I could go on and on about that movie. Y'all tell me your favorite thing about that movie, but I will say, um, the movie, the song Purple Rain it gives me chills, y'all. And when I was listening to Tag sing that song in the intro, I mean, I just got chills on my arms because her voice is just so amazing. And um, I don't know, that song just does something to me. It could be the lyrics, you know, the maybe the moment in time that it takes me back to, maybe just the movie overall. Um, but it's kind of a sad song to me, but it also is an uplifting song. It's a motivational um, song, encouraging, but it certainly is legendary and one of Prince's most proclaimed songs. That album went on to sell 13 million records, which is um, one of the highest grossing records of all time, and it was certainly Prince's best album. Y'all, I forgot to show y'all my... <laughs> Purple Rain cassette. Like, do y'all remember cassette tapes? <laughs> I remember getting cassette tapes and just opening up the album and reading everything. And I mean, just such a classic moment in time. And this will uh, forever just be a piece of history for Prince. So I'm going to sit that there. But um, it's just so much I can say about Prince. And my favorite song of all time, Prince, is Adore. Adore was out in 1987, and it was on his ninth studio album, Sign of the Times. Um, I personally think Prince was a genius. I think that he had a lot of um, bottled up frustration in him from his family life, but it also caused him to really just pour into his music and be a creative, like he was so creative and he expressed himself through his music. And um, Chris, uh, Prince was a bit of a freaky person, wouldn't you think? Um, but he just, he was unapologetic about it. And I think that's what I love about Prince so much is, you know, he wasn't conform to society's standards he went against the norm and he marched to the beat of his own drum and it made me think that it's okay to be different you don't have to be just like everybody else be yourself and um the rest will follow and um prince was just i grew up with prince and um i absolutely love his music i'm gonna continue to keep his legacy alive and i'm so glad that i was able to put together this outfit today for y'all but um i do want to mention that prince was inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame in 2004 by none other than alicia keys to give him an amazing speech y'all <laughs> so bold he defies you to be subtle and so super bad he makes you feel so super Alicia Keys came on the scene just, you know, Prince had a lot to do with her style and everything. And I remember when Alicia Keys hit the scene, I just loved her. I went and got me some braids like Alicia Keys and playing that piano. She just, she kind of just gave me that badass, don't give a dang attitude. And I just loved it. So people like that. Uh, Miguel, he is known to be inspired by Prince. I love his music too. Uh, it's just so many that Prince inspired. You can hear just any genre talking about being inspired by Prince. And like I said, I'm going to continue to uh, live his legacy and keep it going.
And so in 2007, Prince changed his name um, to uh, no name. He went to the love sign or uh, the sign. He was the artist formerly known as Prince. And it was his way of rebellion, rebelling against the industry. And he wanted to get out of his record deal because he felt like a slave to the record industry. And um, eventually he did end up getting out of that uh, contract. And I could go on and on about the Prince hits, but guys, I want y'all to tell me about your favorite Prince moment in time, your favorite Prince album, or your favorite Prince song. And like I said, Purple Rain just does something to me emotionally, especially hearing my girl Tag sing it and this other person that I'm about to start talking about because he is equally amazing with his vocals too. Two totally different ones, but just... There's no measure on them. There's no competition, nothing. Um, but I just, I just love everything. You know, Prince, I know this wig ain't the best thing, but it was the best I could do. So uh, y'all don't joke on me too bad about my wig. One thing about Prince is I just connected with him through his music, and um, and and I love the man. So I'm gonna continue to carry his legacy on. I want to thank. Um, my YouTube counterparts, Tag for short. First of all, I want to say that Tag for short is on the road to 1,000, guys. If you're not subscri subscribed to Tag, please subscribe to her right now. Link will be in the description box. Tag is an amazing vocalist, guys. She has music out. I know that she probably got music coming, but um, go over there and check her out, y'all. Tell her y'all heard her singing over here on Coco T TV. Um, she is also trying to get her channel monetized, guys. So if you all don't mind running one of her playlists, I'll put that in my description box as well. That will be so helpful with getting her um, to her next YouTube milestone. And again, I just want to thank you, Tag. I met you in Atlanta. You are my sister. I appreciate you. And um, oh my God, you gave me chills with that singing. And lastly, guys, I'm going to let this man here take it out. When I tell you he brought it, y'all, he went into the studio. He turned the purple light on. He put the purple Prince uh, poster in the background. I mean, he brought the vocals. He brought the house down, y'all. And I'm going to let y'all let him take y'all out. But I want to tell y'all it is Dre from Trippin' with Dre and Michelle. Um, he is an absolutely amazing content creator, him and his wife, Michelle. Um, and for them to come to me at the last minute to get these lyrics over here to me, he, uh, without hesitation, sent them over. And that's the power, y'all, the power of coming together. And I just want to tell you, Dre, thank you. Uh, most recently, um, Dre was, Dre, I was rocking the, um, Travel Hustle Pray Repeat merch from Trippin' with Dre and Michelle. And you guys certainly go and get y'all a shirt from them because they, they are great. One thing I will tell you about Dre is he is a producer. So if you need YouTube intros, outros, vocals, beats, non-copywritten beats, he is your man. And on that note, y'all, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to be out of here, but um, let's stay connected, y'all. Please give this video a like, share it out, thumbs it up. Just, you know, just keep rocking with Coco T TV. More to come. Um, Dre, take us out. <laughs>
Rain. 